in our last session we made the layer from selection so to see the effect of that i'll just turn off these layers so this is what we have in this session we'll be learning about geoprocessing in simple terms geoprocessing is basically the manipulation of data we come under the geoprocessing tab and we we see the common geoprocessing tools that are used now say we're trying to carry out a particular job process and we don't know the particular location of the tool to use we can easily come to search for tools and search for a particular tool so we'll be searching for buffer now it brings all the tools that has buffer and now we can overrun this and we can see it is an analyst tool and from proximity then we get the buffer so to get to the act toolbox which houses all the geoprocessing tools we'll click here then we get the act toolbox also we can come to geoprocessing and we'll see the act toolbox right here so now we'll click on the analyst tool now from the analyst tool we'll come to the proximity from the proximity we'll get the buffer so it's the same thing as coming to this search if over over here we can get the location of the tool we can see it's under analyst to proximity then we get the buffer so we can either double click on on it right here or we double click on it right here or we can also double click on it right here we all get the same effect so double clicking on this now we have different parameters to input now if you want to know what every parameter does you can come to this show help so we can read what each parameter does now to get more help you can come to this to help then it opens up a tab and we can read more on on the buffer analysis i'm closing this for now now for the input feature we can drop down and click the particular feature we want to buffer around or we can locate it from the folder and easily we can drag and drop it now for the output feature class we can navigate to a particular folder where we want to save I can just create a new folder and give it a name. So um, I'll be choosing kilometers and say 20 kilometers. Then we accept the default, then we say OK. So as it's running, we can see it running under here. To see the process, we can come to the processing and we'll come to the results. Now we can check out the results here. So now we, we have our buffer. Let me just place the Cardona on it. So this is how we create a simple buffer around the feature class. I added the Nigerian road shape file to, to the data frame. So we'll be learning about another geoprocessing tool, which is the clip. So to clip, we come to this geoprocessing and we select clip. So to clip, we need about four parameters. Now our input feature, we can read more about it. This is the feature to the to be clipped. Now our clip feature, we can read what it does there, and now the output feature class. So now for the input feature, our input feature is the Cardona road. Now what do we want to clip on it? We want to clip um Cardona, meaning we want to get all the roads in Cardona instead of seeing all the roads in Nigeria. Clipping just the road in Kaduna to Kaduna make it easy and make it faster to work with just Kaduna data. So we would, would set an output feature class. And I'll call this um, Kaduna root. Save it. Say OK. So it's running on the background here and it's done. So now to see the effect of this, I'll just off all the other layers. So these are the Nigerian roads. I'll just off it. So this is the buffer of the switches off. And this is the Cardona road clip we just did. So basically, that's a brief overview of our geoprocessing. We have a whole lot of geoprocessing tools to explore. We have the proximity, we have the overlay, we have the extracts. There are a whole lot to explore. 